Uh, Eric the Midget, go ahead. Hi, I was calling because I figured you would be playing clips for my show today. No, you figured it wrong. No, I figured right, actually. Uh, J.D., listen to Eric. Eric the Midget last night had his new Idol, American Idol show. Eric the Actor. Eric the Actor uh, had his... Eric the Idol Watcher. Eric the Idol Watcher had his new show. It was perhaps the single most entertaining radio and television that you'd ever see because really? it was the biggest train wreck yet for it, it, they still can't get it right it's fantastic how many years have they been doing it now i don't know but uh, let me see if Two. i got paul mccartney coming in but i'll play you real quick a couple of eric the actors show it's the greatest thing you've ever heard what page is that on gare i think i have an actual eric page there's so many fantastic clips from this show last night i got it you ready i got it Oh, Paul's here? Yeah, oh. Eric, sorry. you've been bumped. Fuck you. Goodbye. We got Paul McCartney. My man. Eric, I'll get back to you later. Bye for now. <laughs> you were cut off for Paul McCartney. I, I, I'm sure you don't understand why, but we had to do that. No, uh, that's understandable. Yeah. Oh, you, you understand. <laughs> wow. Are you a Beatles fan? Red Run! I... Listen to their songs. Yeah. Well, you know, I got to tell you, I was just about to play some of Eric's show from last night. As you know, Eric has an American Idol listening show. Yeah. And uh, again, it is really the biggest train wreck ever. Uh, I'm going to play you a clip right now, Robin, before you, we have. The show got worse? It got worse. I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> uh, riddled with technical problems. Here is, this is not altered in any way, here is the opening of Eric the Midget's Idol show from last night. Eric, all right, guys, hang on a minute. Relax. Chill out. Hold on, let me, get, let me get those stuff from blasting in their ears. Hang on. Say hi, Gina. <laughs> oh, see, now it's low. Oh. Hello, hello. Oh, boy. You don't like this? I'm here. This isn't a test, but... Hello, hello. Yeah. hello this is hello. a show. <laughs> no, it's what like laughing out loud now with a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, this is great. You know they're going to have a field day with this. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. I love it. So, anyway, Eric. No, your voice is all staticky and shit. We're going to have to start late. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to have to start late. That's all. Okay. Okay. I got to tell you, when I was a kid uh, in my in my bedroom, I produced a Batman and Robin sketch yes, that had better production than this. I don't know if you remember that. It's crazy. Yeah. Because you know what they say? A show needs content. <laughs> <laughs> My Batman and Robin as a little boy was better than that. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, at least you could follow the storyline. I would say it was great. no content better than hello? 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 Well, this is, this is nothingness. This yeah. is just, this is, it's, it's like avant-garde television. Yeah. Pure drivel. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, various sounds every two seconds. For a second, I thought Scott the Engineer was moonlighting for Eric's show. <laughs> and then what is the dropping out? You know, you hear her, and then all of a sudden she drops out. Eric, uh, how did you feel the show was going at this point? Well, at that point, it obviously was not going well. The suck level is way higher. Yeah, it's a horrible show. If this know. keeps up, he's not going to get to throw anybody out. Well, I think they finally worked through some of it, and let's see if I can't find uh, a portion of that. Here is uh, Eric from his idol show. Once they restarted. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think they bothered restarting. It just was going on. Oh, my God. Did this kid stick his finger in a light socket? To get... A young man with a giant afro is on the screen, and Eric commenting on his appearance. That hair... Okay, guys, if you have an echo, you have to mute everything but the big window in the room. Make sure you just... And make sure everything is muted but the big window in front of you. Oh, this is too funny. So, Eric, what do you think about them bringing in a fourth judge? Do you think it's... Do you think they're trying to weed out uh, Paula or what? That could be the case. You know, see how this... 
new judge does, you know, with Paula there this year, kind of like, I guess, training, and then maybe next year not re-sign Paula and keep the new judge. What do you think about the new judge? you think she's hot or what? She's very good looking. Yeah, I think she's very cute. Uh, Baba Booey in the room wants to know if you'd bang the new judge. I don't know about that. Oh, come on now, Eric. She's very cute. This is awful. You throw her. How could you say that? I, I, it's not even, it's like, it's just disgustingly dull. <laughs> yeah, his beer league was so brilliant. It's better than this, brother. I got news for you. I saw beer league. It's better than this. Thank you. Yeah. I love how she goes to Eric like he has any inside information. Yeah. Are they trying to get rid of Paula? Eric thinks they might be. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't know if you bang the chick? Like, what, she's not hot enough for you? Well, she's not at the bunny ranch. She doesn't think she will. He would bang her in two seconds. I mean, well, what do you mean you don't know if you'd bang her? Of course you'd bang her. Now, what kind of statement is that, Fruity? Fruity McTootie. <laughs> All right, one last clip from Eric's show, and then we'll move on. Uh, here is Eric. I believe he gets in fights with some people in the chat room. As you know, it's simultaneously being uh, interacting with the chat room. And, and Eric gets mad at certain people, and they throw people out. And I think he fights with his co-host. If you hang in there, it's a, you know, it just goes on and on. We got a couple agats in the room, Eric. Okay, CB, you're leaving. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> oh. So me, the only thing that's going to save you from getting booted is you listening to me. Lower your font, take the caps off. Now. <laughs> hey, Kevin, what's up? Yeah, lower your font. All right, I need like two more shots and I'll be fact. ready to go. I told you, I told you this is a great show. <laughs> you see, CB is using caps and big font. Wow. <laughs> and Eric is getting irritated. This is thrilling. So Eric is not only watching Idol, he is in the middle of reading. reading. They should have cut the show off right there, so it would have been a cliffhanger about whether or not CB actually lowers the font. Right. Uh, Ralph wants to say hello. Let's let him uh, join the fun. Go ahead, Ralph. You have a oh, question wonderful. for Eric. Hey, now. Hey, uh, great with Paul McCartney, man. Thanks, man. That, that was, was really fun. interesting. A lot of fun. Yeah, see, you could you could do all. You should really approach him, man, and say, like you know, weren't you going to do something on ABC, like an interview show? Yeah, I was telling uh, Robin brought that up earlier. Yeah, but you know, it, it's fine. This is good. This you is know, fine. you should do. Oh, you I'm should. Telling you how yeah. it would be great. You should so, let Sal call him. Yeah, work it out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Eric, I have a serious question for it. Please answer in a serious manner. Why are you even doing this show? I don't, I don't get the the angle. You really don't say anything, and, and it's just really terrible. <laughs> like, it's not even funny. Bad. I mean, like, I don't want to insult you. Let me, let me stop. I, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to be funny. But wh why, why, why are you doing the show? What's your, what's the angle? Eric, what's your reason for doing the show, Ralph Wanstow? Just because I want to do it. Gives you a presence on the internet and on. Uh, well, but you're, you're not even, you're not even like really vocal. You're not like, and when she asks you a question, you, you barely have an answer. He does make the point, Eric. You don't even appear to be that into it. Yeah. You'd think he'd have a point of view, but he doesn't. No. Well, last night I was not talking much because I was getting irritated with one of my co hosts that was being way too overly outspoken. And about certain things. Are you referring to the male co-host who was in a bar while the, you were doing the show? Yes. What was he outspoken about? About a certain place that I've gone to. The Bunny uh -huh. Ranch. What was he saying? Yeah, but why, why would you... I don't understand. What do you mean? Wait, Eric probably wanted to focus on Idol, and this guy was being, you know, trying to be funny about the Bunny Ranch. Is that the, is that the case? Well, he was... I don't know so much if he was trying to be funny or not, but he was really irritating me with some of the shit he was saying about the bunny ranch and about you know the certain some of the certain girls that are up there and other stuff like that. We have any well, Eric, Eric, let me. Yeah, I think fight. I think the rest of this clip where he's yelling at the kid in the chat room. I think he eventually gets into a fight with the co-host. Okay. If we hang in there with it. Uh -huh. 
All right, let's stuff. let's let's listen in and see if that occurs. No, Skirt, there's going to be none of those fucking whores are going to be in here. See. I think you need to be on cam since you're at a bar. I think at some point, I do want to have, because she was on that show as a contestant, and, and we joke. Here we go. Yeah, well, she's selling her body for sex now, so if you, she wants to be on the show so fucking bad, tell Rich to write a check. Otherwise, there's going to be no whores on the air at the JFSC. Barfly wants to know, King, are you jealous that Eric is getting more pussy than you? Not really, because I'm considering the pussy he's getting, and that is some used, worn-out shit. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I would much rather fuck my hand, because at least I know where that's been. But well, speaking of, before I get too drunk, Eric, what does non-oxal 9 taste like? I don't know what that is. That's what you tasted, like, from the guy's condom that was in Air Force Amy's twat, like, an hour before you fucking munched her box. <laughs> what is going on here? For starters, I was the first of the day, and she didn't work the day before the evening we fucked for. <laughs> All right, so, Eric, who is this guy that he has... Yeah. I, I, why is he controlling who can come on the show? If you want Air Force Amy on, why can't you? Well, the one that I want on is her name's Bentley Joe. She tried out for Idol this year. So why why is this guy, your co-host, uh, putting you down about your sexuality? Yeah, Eric, Not nobody's sexual. tuning in. Uh, no, nobody's tuning in for that guy or the girl or anything. You got to put your foot down or your wheel down or something, and you know what I mean. Take control here. Yes, JD. What the, you the, the, these other two co-hosts talk ninety percent of the time, and Eric says one word here and there. The Eric show. I thought it was too, but it's these two people show and not Eric. And Eric, why did you let this guy get away with those comments? You don't even correct him. Because <laughs> I really didn't want to completely go off during the show. He's a you professional. Go Howard. off on us. Uh, is there more of this argument about the whores? <laughs> it's the same thing over and over. See, it's, it says co-host pissed about website. It's, it? a, it's a misunderstanding or something. I see. It's, it's, yeah. it's all shit, but, I mean, you love it, so I don't know. <laughs> I love the <this> show. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, it is all shit, but I love it, too, for some reason. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, hey Howard, you're both right. Does the show go on, or JD, does the show go on live while Idol's on? Is that the idea? Yes. Yes. <laughs> It's Eric's thoughts during Idol. Yeah, like, I would kind of be into that without these other people, just to hear Eric sit there and go, all right, uh, 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 right. Well, and it's also questions. People are asking questions to Eric about God knows what. It's Eric, about Idol. Yeah. who determines who's on the show? You chose these co-hosts, I assume, am I right? Right. And why are you putting up with this guy? <laughs> I don't really know. All I know is he's the one that you know, put together the website and helps run the website, so... Although, he's, maybe he's interesting. Into it. Maybe this guy's interesting. At least he's provoking you. Uh, he's not. No? He's well, a he's douchebag. I want to hear Eric just talking about that horrible show. If I'm gonna, well, I, All I, right. I Thank you, Ralph. All right, Ralph, giving input. I, I, you know, I don't know if that's any better. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, there is, uh, in case you missed Eric's show, there are some samples. Where's the one where the, the whole microphone goes out for like 30 seconds? It's uh, Commentary 3 in light blue. All right, let me take a listen to it's that. It's not the mic. It's just no one talking. All right, here, here now, Robin, <laughs> <laughs> this is where Eric is in the middle of the show, and nobody says anything. <laughs> Let's enjoy it together. Oh, my God, that guy's voice is horrible. There's so Eric, many add to it. Come on, sing something. No. Now, uh, That's not the end of the clip. No, you. <laughs> well, it's weird. I thought the only one that was having mic problems was um, King. Shut up, Eric. We're listening, We're listening to the, to the show. Silence. Shh. Shh. Quiet down. So, still no show. So you just assume it's over again. Yeah. Oh. The one kid that tried out first looked like a 
Uh, real be worse. Nice chia head. <laughs> Nothing. That must have been the best part of the show. Why is the... Did you see, did you see his hair? Why is the audio... Oh, my so God. I'm assuming the audio is really bad because they're all in different locations. Why don't they just get them all in one place so the show sounds... Uh, all right, listen. Why, why am I trying to make... pay for that? <laughs> no, why don't you have what, your roommate... all in different... City? Yeah, have your roommate be your co-host. You know what I mean? Get someone who's there with you. Plenty of people where you are. Ask your neighbor to be your co-host. It's not like those people are, you know, so special that everyone can't live without them. All right. Thank you, uh, Eric, and, and congratulations on the show. Thank you. All right. <laughs> there he is. Congratulations. I mean, what am I going to say? <laughs> it's Eric. <laughs> also today, plenty of tickets still available for the upcoming Eric the Midget appearance at a Sacramento Kings game February 27th. In right. fact, every ticket still available. <laughs> I was going to yeah. say, you're kidding. I zero can still get a ticket? Since once again, zero. Eric the Midget has sold 0.0, 0 tickets for his zero. appearance there next month. Point zero. Robin, is it fair to He's ask? He's on a streak. <laughs> what is it, Eric? You had your time on the air today. What is it? Well, I was calling back because I heard Langford was talking about the King's event. Yes. Saying something about 0.0, .0 tickets. He claims you've sold. Fuck up, point dumbass. He's, he's claiming you've sold no tickets. I only made the announcement yesterday. What do you think? Zero. Oh, when do you expect point sales to start happening? Zero. And how long has it been on your website? Been on the website for a couple months. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Shut up, fat fuck. <laughs> if no one comes, is it an appearance? <laughs> Will you go if no one buys a ticket? I, zero. I don't know. Point. Uh, zero. If Eric, your fans buy at the last minute, Eric, is that what you're saying? I hope not. I hope they start going to the website and start. Contacting James at the Arco Arena. Yeah, but by saying that you only announced it yesterday, do you think it's realistic that a bunch of people wrote on a post-it, get tickets when they heard it, and still haven't pulled the trigger on it yet? All right, I got to move along. Go ahead, yeah, Steve. I mean, what you know, else do you and have? also, if if uh, yeah. if Eric makes an appearance in the middle of the woods and no one's there, is it really, is it really exactly an my point.